greetings and salutations. I am Vader Prime, and welcome. And just before we start off, I do want to apologise for no Stellaris being on this Friday. Reason being, there's been a recent update, and it sort of made all my mod, all the mods I'm using sort of not work. So I'm um, looking into it. I'm going to see if I can try to either find a way to use an older version of Stellaris, or I'll have to wait until the mods get updated. But I'm working on it. This little video I'm doing is to show off two new things that are coming to Star Trek Online. The Discovery uniforms that you may be able to see me wearing at the moment, and a new bridge. It's sort of a hint at the moment of what you can see in this ready room, but I won't spoil it too much. Uh, so now all that's out of the way, let's dive straight into it, shall we? Now, as you can see, I am wearing the new Discovery uniform, which are currently available for free on Star Trek Online. If you wish to have the free uniform, all you need to do is go into your C stall, then go on to your promotions, and well, click on Buy for the uniform. Be warned, the uniform is only available from September the 21st to October the 6th, 10 a.m. PST. It is free, but after that time, it gets taken off, so it is a limited time. As you can see, this uniform is in a, well, the best blue I can get it. I like to call it royal blue, but I think it's something different. Gold patches, both on the shoulders, elbows, down the sides, and on the legs. There are a stripe that goes from the, on the sides, straight down past the top, to the, well, pants, as they say. So you've got the jacket, trousers, and boots. There are several different com badges as well. Each com badge has its own rank and logo for science, operations, and tactical. As you can see, modelled by these lovely pictures I've got on the screen. Haha. <laughs> it's a pretty nice uniform, I say that. It's definitely got me um, looking a bit more to the discovery. Like I say, it is free, but it's only limited time. And all those com badges, and obviously the Admiral one is uh, slightly different. Reminds me of a bit like the Next Generation, which is another hint of what I'm doing next. So that is the lovely Discovery uniforms. So let's go along on to the next part of this little show, shall we? Okay, so we'll start off in the room. I've been doing my little introduction and uniform. This is the ready room of the famous Enterprise D, N, uh, NCC 1701-D, from the Next Generation TV show. Uh, they, they've added basically the Galaxy Bridge. This is the ready room, Picard's ready room. Uh, so there's his chair he used to sit in, his goldfish, well not goldfish, with his fish bowl. Uh, they pictured up, well, the gold statue of the Miranda class, the lovely couch, and the big picture of the Enterprise with, I believe, the Vulcan logo, Vulcan insignia on the side table. Not too sure why. Uh, books on the table, and you can access all your special uh, systems from the console here. It does, and I never knew this, it does actually have a bed in here. I did not know this myself. Not much in it apart from the bed and the replicator, and these two light things. But I did not know there was a bed in here. Must be when the cat captain wants to do a little bit of a cat naps. So let's move on to the next one. Now as you can see this is the Galaxy Bridge from the classic show. It's a lovely bridge all detail. You've got Wharf Station up here. It goes this horseshoe sort of wooden bar. Well rail. Well let's actually start off from the beginning shall we. So we've got the captain's uh, chair in the middle. Then the first officer chair which is on the right of me or left of me. And then where my science officer is sitting, you have the counsellor's chair, or the second person's chair, I believe. Which I have actually, which you can actually sit in, with her in it. That's been a bit uh, awkward. But then, like I say, you've got at the top, you've got Worf's lovely horseshoe tactical console. With my uh, operations officer Manning. At the front we have Helm and... Oper helm operations and the tactical at the front uh, on the horseshoe the lovely bridge the plaque which says the Enterprise on let's just zoom in yep there it is Enterprise plaque and a replicator which I didn't know was in the show well not in the bridge anyway Ooh, I'm on there and all the science engineer engine science stations 
engineering, ops, environment, and engineering again. Oh, mission ops, that one is. Hmm. I never actually knew what all them were. I thought they were just like secondary consoles. We are at red alert for some reason as well. Uh, you've got turbo lift here. Oop, and that just snapped open. Again, just like in the show. Another turbo lift down here as well. Just like in the show. There is the emergency one here that takes you to the battle bridge, I believe, but that one doesn't open. Poop. But then we have up here. Uh, what's that one? Is that another turbo lift? No, that's head. Whatever that is. Through here we have the conference room, or the briefing room. The nice, lovely, classic table. Two consoles on one there and one there. And you can see the Galaxy class. Bit awkward, I'm guessing, if you don't have it equipped to a Galaxy class. Because I don't think it will show you the whatever class you're on. So let's go down and go up to the next uh, floor, shall we? Yeah, and now we're on deck eight. Lovely little place. All the same corridors from the original, well, from the next generation Enterprise. We have the captain's quarters right here, as you can see, Picard's own quarters. Oh, I do love this. Yeah, it does have his flute thing on the uh, on the table, sadly. But that's his desk. Two doors to keep opening. Model of the Enterprise. And his bed, which you cannot sleep in. But I guess you could bounce on it. Whee! Uh, you can sit in the chairs except for that one. Which is always nice. Lovely couch and flowers. I wonder if they water themselves or Picard has to take a watering can to one. All in all, not a bad little set of quarters. Let's see what else is on deck eight, shall we? Uh, so, then we go into these corridors. Another turbo lift down at the bottom. And the engineering room. And too bad you don't get Chief O'Brien, sadly. And let's see what's behind here, shall we? Nothing. So these are the transporter room. Let's see what else we have. Let's go down here. Oh, you also get the NPCs walking around in the next generation uniforms. But now we have Dr. Beverly Crush's sick bay. Ooh. Here's her lovely office. Loads of stuff in it. Don't think she should have all these stuff open and out and about. Anybody could read them. Dr. Beverly Crush's lovely office. And then we have the main sick bay itself. Which I never knew this middle table was at an incline a bit. Oh, then we have the other four bio beds, and you can access all medical sort of missions and stuff that you get for your crewmen. Uh, this door doesn't open. Shame. I remember the screen well, putting loads of things on here, which I never understood. But that's basically it for the old Deck 8. So let's head off to Deck 10, shall we? And here we are, Deck 10. Uh, so, actually, I haven't been down here myself, except for that mission. I do know, however, that we have the holodeck on here. Just like the one that was in the uh, mission. Pretty big holodeck as well. Let me know how big these things were. Open says me. We have the other holodeck that's in working order as well. Two holodecks. Another turbo lift. Hey, I just want to check something. Can we access the thing with the turbo? With the with this? Can we access any programs? I don't think we can, can we? No, we can't. Oh, let's continue. Uh, no working doors. So basically, this is what you would get from. Oh, we have ten forward. Not in a mess like it was in the mission. Lovely ten forward this is. And you can sit in the chairs again. Too bad I don't have my own dining. And she can sit down and have a chat. Ooh. The uh, 3D chess, is it? Commander Data used to play this. I still have no idea what it is. Well, how to play it. 
and we have our bar people with replicators. It always confused me. I would have thought the people would have just been able to go straight to the replicators and order themselves. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, let's go to the last section of this beautiful ship. And here we are on deck 36, which is apparently engineering. We have a lovely view of the Enterprise, all key systems. Don't want people to have a look at that. A uh, lovely table. Which is a slap bang in the room. Here you can access all your engineering duty officers with him, which sort of ruins the mood really by being in a Odyssey uniform. More consoles and the warp core. Lovely, lovely warp core. And we've got the main engineering stations here. She can again access more of your uh, duty offices for your engineering. Ooh, you know, I never really knew how big this place actually was. It always looked a bit small on the show, so what's the idea? Uh, closed door. Engineering support. Mm, we should go in there. Lovely. And a, a little office chair. I used to call them scribble chairs for some reason. I don't know why. And that one, that doesn't look very comfortable. Yeah, none of these actually do anything except for these people. But it's still nice, so if want to do role-playing on the next generation sort of era, this would be great for that. Anything down here? Nope. All in all, very nice little uh, engineering bay. I always like this one more. I don't like the normal standard one you get in the game. It always seems way too big to me. I know they're trying to put it down to where it looks a bit like what was in the Enterprise E, but still far too big. So, there we have it. We have both the artists of the Discovery uniforms and the Galaxy bridge and uh, skin pack for the layout of your ship, which is on the Sea Store for 2,000 um, sea credits or. Well, the currency is on the game. So yeah, that's basically it. Perfect for if you want to go along and roleplay the next generation. And I hope that they discovered that the end, that when we actually see start seeing new ships, that they actually add in new ships as well, because that'd be nice. Flush out the old universe a bit more. All in all, very good. Like I say, the D Discover uniform is free. Enterprise pack you do have to, uh, Galaxy pack you do have to pay for, which is the Galaxy Bridge set, which is the. 2000 and 2000 Z Zen, that's the word it is, and 2000 Zen. This I know some most people don't bother going with the bridge packs, no one just go with the game, but I sort of like this one. I'm gonna have this for my other ships. I wish there was a bit more, I wish we could actually use the holodecks, but yeah. So, this has just been a short little video. Hope it was okay. Like I said, do apologize for Stellaris. The minute I can get it back and up and running, it will be instantly uploaded. So, maybe a random video that just pops up sometime. Uh, hopefully, it won't take too long. But I'm going to end it here now. I hope this was a bit informative, and uh, hope you like seeing more of the Enterprise. Too bad we didn't have Picard or Worf or Beverly Crusher or Diana Troy and all the rest. Too bad we're going to get a Data. I might have to have a look if I can get. I'll change some of my people. I'm going to put them in the next generation uniforms. I should have actually done that. Because I do actually have them as well. You can see there. Yep, but that's it. So, I uh, hope you like this. Hope you wasn't mind. Thanks for watching. And see you next time. Bye.